Hey everyone, this is Grant, your friendly neighborhood OpenShift team member. In today's video, I want to show you how to install Red Hat Code Ready workspaces on the Red Hat OpenShift container platform version 3.11. So I am going to go ahead and log in to my OpenShift platform. And then once I'm authenticated, you can see that I do not have a Code Ready uh, project over here. Um, but the first thing I want to do is actually download the Code Ready workspaces. So to do that, I'm going to go to access.redhat.com and I am going to authenticate. Put in my username and password. And then once I have been authenticated, I'm going to click on product and services and then click on view all products. And right here in the middle of the screen, we can see Red Hat Code Ready workspaces. And I just want to click the download latest and I'm going to save that to my local machine and that's gonna be a tar file, which I will then need to extract. So I'll go ahead and save this and then we'll go over to our terminal and I've created a directory called Code Ready here with the workspace.tar file in there. So I am just going to extract the workspace.tar. That created a Code Ready Workspaces operator directory for me. Now, I should already be logged in here. And we can do OC get projects and it's gonna list all of the projects on my OpenShift container platform. Let's clear the screen and then let's run deploy. And this will give you some information. You can specify, uh, for example, a specific project. If you don't specify a project name, it's gonna use Code Ready as the default. You can also enable OAuth. And this will allow anyone on your OpenShift container platform cluster to log in with their OAuth credentials. So I'm just gonna run deploy and I am just going to say dash dash deploy and I'm going to actually use all of the defaults. And this is going to authenticate to my OpenShift container platform as you can see on console.techdope.io and it says that a namespace code ready was not found so it's actually going to create that namespace or project for me and install Red Hat Code Ready workspaces inside of that. And this takes just a couple of minutes to complete. The deployment has completed. You can see that it took three minutes and 13 seconds to complete. And for those of you who may watch my YouTube videos, you'll know perhaps that I created a video for installing Red Hat Code Ready workspaces on the OpenShift Online Pro tier last week. And hopefully you have noticed that the process is exactly the same. That highlights one of the benefits of OpenShift when you're thinking about hybrid cloud deployments. Regardless of where you have OpenShift running, the process is exactly the same, whether it's in the public cloud, public hosted cloud, OpenShift dedicated, or in your own data center. You just have a few other options when you are running your own OpenShift cluster, such as the OAuth integration. All right, so let's head back over to the OpenShift console and we can see that we now have a Code Ready project. And Code Ready consists of the Chase server, Key Cloak for authentication, and a Postgres database. So the first thing you'll want to do probably is log into Key Cloak. And the default password is admin admin. And you'll want to change that password um, pretty quickly. So you can go to login, client registration, you can turn off client registration. If you look under users, you can um, view different users. But let's go ahead and register a new account on Code Ready Workspaces because I did not enable authentic or OAuth authentication. So I'm just going to register a new account and I'll put in my information here. Grant Shipley, G Shipley at redhat.com. And I want my username to be G Shipley and I'll put in a password and I am going to register. And this will create an account for me. If we go back over to Key Cloak and click on users, and let's refresh this, view all users, 
we should see that we have a G Shipley account now. So if we go over to, um, we want to disable the registration now that I have created my account. So if you go to Realm Settings and then User Registrations, just turn that off and then click on Save. And also don't forget to change that admin password as well. So if I go back to my other tab, this is Code Ready Workspaces. So let's just try one out here real quick. Let's try a Java 1.8 stack. Let's set our machine up to, you know, six gigs. This is running on my own server and I know my OpenShift server has 128 gigs of memory. So let's just create and open that project. Okay, our Code Ready Workspaces environment has been set up. Our workspace has been set up. Here it is. So let's go ahead and import a project into our workspace. And we're going to do this from GitHub. So let me run over to my GitHub account real quick. GitHub.com slash gshipley. And find a quick repository that we can load in to Red Hat Code Ready Workspaces. I'll just grab this one. Go back over to my Code Ready Workspaces, put that in. Um, my, let's say Java, okay, import that. And so now that's going to import the GitHub repository into our Code Ready Workspaces. And we can specify that this is a Maven based project and save that. And now we can expand our source code and start coding. And if we just look at the controller here, this is just a little simple one that I've been working on. So let's go ahead and go over to our terminal and do a ls in this directory, cd into that directory, and do a maven clean package. And that's going to actually build the application from inside of Code Ready Workspaces. So the way I actually use Code Ready Workspaces, as I click this yellow button in the top left hand corner to get rid of the workspace information. And then I just code in this throughout the day and use the integrated terminal. We can see that build took 18 seconds. Let's see if we run it a second time. All those uh, downloads should be cached at this point. So your subsequent builds will be much faster, 2.9 seconds. So then if you want to actually run this, you can do Java dash jar, just like you are running on your local machine and um, run the jar file application. And if I typed it right, you need Java dash jar. And this will actually start up the Spring Boot application running inside of Red Hat Code Ready Workspaces. So that's pretty awesome. So how do you actually get to the Spring Boot application? So you click this plus sign, you click on servers, and this will give you the routes for everything that you have running. So if I click that, it's going to give me an error message because the application's not actually um, doing anything right now. But if we go back to our OpenShift Container Platform console, you can see that my workspace is running as a pod inside of OpenShift. And right now it is consuming a total of uh, 990 megs of memory. And so, as you remember, I created that to go up to six gigs. So as I'm compiling and doing things, it can actually consume uh, more resources if needed. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy using Red Hat Code Ready Workspaces.